On this side, I'm sorry. Uh, Judith Muhammad and I'm standing on behalf of my mother Edith Stapleton and she's she really regrets that she's not able to be here so uh, and thank you so much for having her on the program so these are some words from my mother the first time that she met Julia Hudson Montgomery was in 1957 she was one of the first friends I met when I came to Chicago to join Pleasant Gift Missionary Baptist Church. I was living with my Aunt Bessie Lee, rest in peace, then, but I ended up going back to live with my mother. In 1972, I came back to Pleasant Gift alone with my kids. And right away, Julia said she wanted me to be on her kitchen committee. In the 70s and 80s, we did the Baptist Convention fundraisers because we realized that a lot of the youth yes. wanted to attend the Baptist Convention, but weren't able to. I remember once during a fundraiser, I had sold a lot of candy and Julia went back to the factory to get more candy. <laughs> she was a very dedicated woman especially when it came to the youth. Julia was more like a sister to me than a friend. We shared a lot while working in the kitchen together. I remember at times I would ask her how she wanted me to make something and she would just say, make it like you're cooking for your family. Her trust in me made me feel good when my kids and grandkids would go off to college, she would go around to all her family and collect money. <laughs> and, she would, and she would come to their trunk party with the biggest gift. It would be bigger than any other gift they had received. And while three of my daughters got married, she did all the catering for free. She told me, you just buy the food and I'll do the cooking. She was always such a big support to me and she loved my kids. So I just wanted to say to Mrs. Julia Hudson Montgomery, I love you, my sister, and I'll miss you, my friend. I know you've received your wings. So until we meet again, Rest in peace because you are now home. Edith Stapleton, a friend forever. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Rand Jenkins of Jesse Plains, Illinois. The nephew of Aunt Julie and Uncle Douglas on the this is my wife, for 38 years. Well, first of all, it's an honor to be here at Pleasant Gift again, standing in the place where Reverend R. L. Buckner, the lead horse, has recognized when I stood. I recall Reverend Nichols here always took the horse to those who went with the young horse to teach him. <laughs> and Reverend Christian, you and your team have obviously run away because Pleasant Gift is a beacon of life and hope. And with your leadership and the examples of these two lead horses, 